Welcome to another installment of Property Vlogs. Today I'm excited to show you the Alderney, a brand new house by Barrett Homes. And it's behind me. It's a four bedroom detached property with its own detached garage. The specifications are, it's approximately on sale for 350,000 pounds. The square footage of this property is approximately 1,225 square feet. It's also got approximately 20,000 pounds of extras. So stay tuned and peep those little extras as we go along the tour. And if any of that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned and we'll talk together. Hello, come inside and welcome home to your new build house. So we are in the entryway. I like the, the way the door locks with the thumb lock at the end, very easy, easy to access and to use. So straight into the hallway, let's get straight into it. The first thing you're going to notice is that you've got the coir matting at the floor. It's been integrated in the floor, so it's level. It's great for not tracking in dirt and it's just obviously a nice touch to add and i like the fact that house builders are doing this now because when we first toured a new build house i did not see this and this is one of my absolute must-haves so that's great tick you're going to notice you've got a vision panel in your front door letting in lots of light but it's also frosted so it's not overbearing in terms of privacy as well um, facing the front of the house and feeling exposed as you walk through the corridor this is just glance through the front door. I probably don't need to go through all the details. We obviously have a letterbox at mid, uh, well, low level, and it's white on the back of the front door. Uh, you've got your chain lock as well as standard. Um, and then this main entryway has a really lovely neutral toned flooring uh, wood effect as well. I prob it's probably Antico or Candine or a luxury vinyl tile company, um, which I like. You've got a mystery door, which is your storeroom slash clerk room we'll just take a look in there as well and that's where your consumer unit is as well and then your remnants of your heating it's really nicely positioned so you can fit it out with shelving for coats and boots so you come straight in you pop your coats in there your boots in there you're good to go very nice position and then you've got your staircase right in front of you your main room on your right so coming into the main room it is dual aspect, which means it's got a view of multiple aspects, multiple views. You've got the front here through a double, um, a t double pane. Oh, I don't want to say double pane. There's two lights to the window. One's opening as well, which lets lots of fresh air through. And then you've got your French doors at the back, double opening um, doors as well on that side. You've got central heating to the whole. Um, of the property as well just note that and the proportions of this downstairs i think it's quite sizable um it, i wouldn't describe it as being uh, humongous but for a front lounge it definitely ticks all the boxes you've got sufficient space to house your furniture you've got a three seater there as well and then a nice little love seat in this area and it's up to you how you want to frame it focal point is most likely going to be on this wall as they've done it so when you come straight into the room your eyes are drawn straight to this back wall which then makes the room feel even bigger i would say ceiling heights are standard so we're looking at approximately 2.4 as well uh, bear that in mind so you know i have noticed other properties which have taller ceiling heights it makes the property feel bigger but here you're looking at more kind of your traditional ceiling heights the doors to the property just a quick glance your standard doors are going to be your four paneled one two three four four panel doors wood effect um painted in a white satin effect with chrome handles so that's your standard detail and now we're back in the corridor again so let's keep going so um before we get sucked in too much i'm going to go into this room because the layout of this house is very i uh, slightly unusual in the fact that all the rooms are kind of dispersed around the floor plan they're not all concentrated at one end or the left or the right so midway in the corridor we've got this dining area formal dining room with dual aspect facing the side and the front so you're always going to have eyes on what's happening around your property and it also means you have lots of opportunity for natural light it to enter the house uh, you can enjoy um, sunsets sunrises all across the whole property because of the multiple aspects this dining room they've staged it as a eight seater as you can see um, and i would say it's probably just about right i wouldn't put anything bigger you can also use this as a home study or an office if you wanted to or <laughs> 
a spare bedroom. Everyone hates it when I say this because they think I'm obsessed with making houses bigger. But really, I'm thinking about making the house future proof. Not everyone can go up the stairs. If you've got guests coming over, in laws, parents, they will have a spare room and you can have an obviously a foldable couch that becomes a bed. Just think about that. Don't, don't, don't dismiss the idea to have had an I had chance to think about it. Coming out of the dining room, we're back in the hallway. I'm going to briefly show you under stair cupboard there. It's been nicely finished. They've continued the flooring as well. So it's not an afterthought, but it's actually integral to the home, which I think is a bonus. We've got a downstairs WC powder room, as some may like to call it. Here we've, we've seen that they've um, done half height tiling, but this is rarely a standard um, finish. Normally you'd have tiles as backsplashes to the sink area and then you'd have um, the sink and the rest of it would just be plastered walls. So if you did want to uh, have the half height tiling, just remember it's an upgrade. And this is roughly the size of it. You've got a chrome towel rail there. I like to see the chrome towel rail rather than a radiator. It's a bit of a stylish finish. And um, just to mention, usually in most of these new builds, your standard fittings, light fittings will be pendant lights. If you ever see down lights like these or spotlights, um, they're gonna be additional. Um, but you know, it's up to you whether you wanna add those as a feature. But moving on, let the flooring and the continuation of the flooring drag you, not, dra not drag you, bring you and uh, invite you into the open plan space. So this is the open plan kitchen dining space. It's up to you what you make of it, but it will 100% be a kitchen space because this is a fitted, but it's up to you whether you want to have this as a snug. So it's fully fledged living area, or you just want to have it as a kitchen diner. It is up to you. And that's what open plan spaces are for flexibility. Um, coming into the kitchen area, I really like the coloring of the, um, the cabinetry they've gone for mauve which is kind of like an off-tone warm gray grayish brown mauve coloring with like a natural light colored wood grain to the surface this is a laminate with a square edge profile i really think that's been tastefully done we've got chrome handles as well to the cupboards at the top gloss and inside the carcasses are white so that is your um probably your standard finishes um for this pro um, property but obviously i like to interrupt this point to say you can check anything that i say in the links in the description it'll tell you exactly what you need to know about this property if you want to know more about finishes spec pricing just the most important details about the property as well um so back to the kitchen we've got a, ki uh, a fridge freezer by Electrolux as well. So that's in a 70-30 arrangement, which is there. It's kind of out of the way. You've got these step back wall units above the sink. It's always nice to have a sink in front of a window, but I guess because of the way it's been centered all that wall, it's a bit of a feature. So it's not too bad that we're facing a wall rather than a window. Um, they've got down lighters under there. Those will definitely be an additional um, upgrade. And then we've got the storage here. We've got a window set at slightly high level as well. So there's no splashing into the window. And there's also a, still a level of privacy in the kitchen space. We've got a window there. We've got your four um, gas burners as well here. Um, that's really good to see a gas burner hob. And then we've got our extract fan above. They've done a glass splashback and I reckon well, again, check in the description for specifics, but usually glass splashbacks are an upgrade because you usually go with stainless steel, which is usually the standard. Um, so yeah, the finishes continue. We've got a uh, storage here, and I really like the fact they've already integrated the cutlery drawer in there, and it's soft closes as well. And I just love the color scheme. It's very on trend because neutral colors and warm colors are in. And then we obviously flow into the rest of the kitchen, which has the integrated appliances. And I believe these are gonna be by Electrolux. Yes, so this is your oven built in as well. And then you've got cabinetry above. So they've tried to utilize storage. And then this is where your boiler lives, which is a Logic Combi SP. ESP135, if you're interested in knowing. And yes, yeah, so lots and lots of cabinetry, lots of storage, all with soft closes. 
I mentioned there's windows either side and then this is your little nook for dining. You could probably put furniture against that wall and have it as a kitchen diner rather than a kind of a, an actual formal dining table. And then this is a snug area here with dual aspect. In fact, this room has three aspects. I've noticed side view, rear view and kind of other side view. So that's really good. And then this is double doors leading onto your rear um, garden as well. Uh, one thing I did want to mention is that obviously internally all the windows are white in colour and you've just seen there we've peeked at the back. Everything in the back of the property is white which is traditional but from the outside of the house you might be a bit confused. The, they've done it as dual toned colours so the windows appear grey from the front of the property which makes them nice and contemporary and modern. So coming back into the corridor, let's go upstairs to see what's in store. So as I'm walking up these stairs, um, I think they're quite nice in, in terms of width. It's not too narrow um, and it takes you up to your landing space, which we have here. Okay, so let's go to the first room on this floor. The first room I'm going to take you into this is going to be this double this double room here i think it's actually staged with a king size bed so you know you can accommodate a king size with two bedside tables and then you've got your fitted wardrobe there this fitted wardrobe is going to be an additional upgrade but you do know there's sufficient space to have one in moving to the next room is this room here so this is a single room single room is always an opportunity for a home office home studio a little cinema room, a snug guest room, you, you name you name it. Um, it's got views of the back. I forgot to mention the other room we just saw obviously has room views over the front of the property. We've also got a little cute window here facing the back of the property from the landing, which means if all these rooms are occupied, the doors are closed, you're still going to have natural light flowing in from this window. So the next room we're going to go to is this one here at the front again. Wow, this is nicely sized actually. So I like the hierarchy in this house. You do get guest rooms, guest size rooms, um, smaller rooms, but then you get larger rooms. We've got this, which is definitely going to be a, a king size bedroom. Um, I always name my rooms not in terms of doubles and singles, but in terms of the furniture you can fit in here. No point calling it a double if you can't fit a double bed. But in this case, you can fit an, a king size and two large double um, bedside tables. You've got dual aspects, window facing the side of your property and window facing the back. In these windows, I've noticed you've got these glazing bars and that's something else they've done is that they've ch changed the window treatment depending on whether you're facing the front, the side or the back. So you'll see what I mean in a second. So let's come round to the next room here. And this is the family bathroom, which is a three piece suite. You've got your bathtub over here, your toilet over here, your sink. You've got half height tiling upgrade to the hall of the bathroom and obviously full height tiling to the bathtub because they've done a shower over bath. The shower is a thermostatic shower as well. The taps by Briston. Um, and then they've obviously got a glass, uh, a, uh, a hinged glass divider there. I like the flooring as well, which looks like it's um, a luxury vinyl tile, mimicking a natural stone. And that's the family bathroom. So let's look into the last room, which we've been saving for you. And this is the, well, the primary bedroom. So. In terms of proportions, I'll just stand in the back of the room. So the proportions of the room, I really think this room takes all the boxes. Again, the hierarchy, we're building up. So we've come from the smallest rooms, we've got a larger room, and then this is the room that really feels the most luxurious, beautifully staged with a king size bed. I think you could probably upgrade it to a super king if you wanted to. A really good opportunity to create a moment here and a feature in the back wall you've got another window facing the rear garden there and then so you can look at your garden keep an eye on things you know if the kids are playing downstairs um, outside or if you've got family over or a barbecue going you've got a side view here as well looking at the rest of the development and again you can kind of peep the gray windows i mentioned earlier that are at the front of the properties you've got just space for additional things if you wanted you could definitely make that a dressing nook if you wanted and then again we've got a full wall here of a 
wardrobe uh, floor to ceiling wardrobe fully fitted definitely going to be an upgrade i mean this has been done beautifully and there's light as well and i've just noticed they've also done a usb charge point there i've not seen that before that's pretty cool and then usb sockets most likely again upgrades but it's nice to know that you can have that that's already considered so let's move through the room you could put a tv on that wall if you wanted to or do it like they've done as a feature and then obviously primary bedroom is accented accentuated by having an ensuite so this ensuite i will say it is not generously sized but it is your new build proportion ensuite you've got a sink there a toilet there and a shower and the shower itself is actually very very spacious looking in terms of width but also the length it's wall to wall and it's fully tiled you've got your electric shower here by myra myra azora and then you've got the shower tray tiled beautifully with your handheld device a window bringing in natural light and ventilation and obviously it will have extract fan there's a shave shaver socket behind the wall and it's beautifully tiled throughout and it all complements each other so i believe that's pretty much all the rooms in this property um, if you saw anything that we missed leave it in the comments we get back to all the comments and if you've got any suggestions let us know but most of all like and subscribe so that when our next video comes out next week you get a little bell that rings and lets you know to watch until then we'll see you bye